Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. What I want to get onto today is I want to try and finish off the Norris uh, quest that we've got here. So the last quest that we've got is the Bandit Stash Myth. Locate the Bandit Stash, deal with the Stash Guard, go back to Norris the Groom. So right here, that's what we need. And everything else, you know what, I wouldn't mind getting that for myself to be perfectly honest with you. So I want to definitely go ahead and uh, finish that off today. But also what I want to do is we're going to head back home real quick. As you would have noticed in the top right hand corner there, is that we need to go ahead and deal with our, um, our base because we are under attack. So we will rush back home, finish these fellas off here. And hopefully we shall get the rest of everything sorted out. And I think that is part of, well, part and partial really, that you need to annoy the bandits here and um, defend the base so you can get to the bandit stash. So that's why I sort of triggered that sort of at the same time. And hopefully we can um, resolve all of this because these guys here are not going to stop and I'm going to have to try and find my way around and find these fellas here. Usually they normally spawn around this side here, so I'm not too sure why they're not here. Oh, there they are. Hey, oi, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, yeah, you. No, 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 no. Yeah, you too, you guys. What the hell is going on here? And, and you're just wrecking everything in my base, honestly. Okay. So they've broken down a few things, which is fine. I've been able to sort these guys out. Need to find out where or who has got the map. So we can go find the, um, ooh, you have a excellent quality uh, jacket, my friend. So I will take you. Um, where is the map? There we go, fantastic. Awesome. And this will be part and partial with our quest. So I just want to get that out of the way. And we're going to have to fix everything up here as well, as you guys can see. So we'll finish this off and get, um, get to cracking. And yeah, hopefully we can finish the quest, get the reins. I'm still after the final horseshoe that I need. And I need to find one more um, wagon axe, uh, sorry, axle. And once I found it, those little bits and pieces I can finish off my wagon and we can finally get underway and go ahead and find those safes bring it back to the safe um, person back in town and this is the second um, train event that I've had today it's really weird I have no idea why I've got that let's go ahead and run across and finish this off thank god he was nice and close which is a good thing but we may go past and do the train event in our stride today. So yeah, we'll go ahead and sort that one out because you, you know what? You might actually find the, um, the horseshoe in the uh, train event. So yeah, why not? All right, so we've got the Bandit Stash Myth updated. So cleverly enough, it was more of a convenient side of things that I was able, that I had the um the anger meter for the bandits um pretty much all the way to to full and then more or less annoyed them and i think i did that towards the end of the last video when i was hunting in the northern zone so it sort of worked hand in hand so i thought you know what as soon as i completely annoyed the the bandits and strategically i had set it up um pretty much when i was able to get back home from work so I can film this video and get this um, this one pumped out to you guys so you can actually see it. So I'm actually glad that everything sort of worked out. Um, full set of armor is actually, you know what, I'm just going to take all of it because, you know, well, I want it all. And we can head off, go back home, drop everything off. And then what we'll do from here is we'll go to town, get our reins, and we can head on over to the train event and I think that will be a good time for everyone finish everything off and finish it off over there and if we're lucky we may get a shooters event and if we do 
happy days. I can try and finish everything off today in this video and I thought, you know what, I didn't have the expectation of getting the shooters event. So that's still not, um, uh, not in my thought process at the moment, but if it happens, it happens. And yeah, I'll be uh, reasonably pleased if that's the case. So yeah, that's what I'm sort of aiming for, but I'm not sort of counting that as a, um, uh, as it's going to happen because I don't think it will happen. I'll be lucky if it does, but look, um, there's only so much that I can, you know, hope for and wish for all that sort of stuff in amongst each other. So yeah, right now I'm just going to dump everything in this chest here because right now I don't really need it all. Um, no, I just opened that before. Oh, here we go. Cool. So it's good to have some of these chests floating about, so at least this way I can just sort of drop things as I sort of don't need them right away. I'm just going to go ahead and eat food. Uh, will I be right with this? You know what? I will be because I won't need all of that. I'm pretty much good to go. I'll check Horsey, make sure that he hasn't got any stuff in his inventory. But I'll tell you what, as soon as we get this wagon, um, the sooner that I can have more inventory space that I can move around. But I have been seeing some screenshots on the um, on the Facebook page for the community guys, so you guys, um, so the fan page. And to tell, you, to tell you the truth, the wagon all well and good from what I've seen, but it does require a lot of oats. So right now, um, a lot of you guys may not be wanting to use the wagon as much because it requires a lot of oats. Oats are not easy to come by at the moment. There are a few ways that you can get oats real quick. So a few quick ones just to sort of um, get them out of the way would be uh, doing bandit quests. So doing the sheriff, uh, sheriff bounty, sorry. Uh, the stash quest that we just did, you only get a little bit. It is what it is, but you do get some and it's better than none. Um, let's have a look and finish this fella off here quickly. Let's go to our inbox. Inbox. There we go. Rain's perfect. Awesome. And uh, the canyon trials. So the canyon trials are a great way to get yourselves um, quite a bit of oats. You can do it every couple of days. So if you keep running it, yes, it, it is at the expense of certain resources that you may don't want to use. But if you need to get a stockpile of oats, I think that would be one of the best ways for you to get oats in amongst you doing other quests and tasks and things like that. I believe some of the animal um, uh, hunts that you can do will supply you some oats here and there from time to time. As I said, um, if you do the sheriff quest you can get some and if you're annoyed about um, the bandits enough then you'll get some as well. So there are ways to get them. Um, you can always pay for them via coins if you want to go down the expensive route. Uh, that's up to you guys. But I figured I just thought I'd explain a few things, a few ways to do it. But the only the only other reason that I'm going to bring this up as well is the expense of oats at the moment versus uh, utilizing uh, the wagon when we do get it. It's going to be um, the cost effectiveness may not be um, as attractive to utilize it and we don't know exactly what we're going to get out of these safes once we do acquire those safes. So I can only think and I can only theorize possibly in the next update, I reckon, once everyone's starting to get the uh, the wagon itself, I reckon there's going to be more accessibility for us to get more oats, a lot more conveniently, a lot more easier. And yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. Initially, because the update has only just come out, and it is a brand new update. Some uh, people are getting it little by little, and a lot of people might think right now it's not worth it. They're probably right. Right now, it may not be worth it. But I would think once um, the update settles down, or even when we get to another update, I reckon they're, they're gonna give us an update and we're gonna be able to have the ability to, to find more oats. So, Again, that's just a theory, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below if you feel that that's going to be apparent. Um, I think it is, but again, I think um, I want to hear from you guys. So yeah, let me know. So train event, it's always a good time. I always find 
um, an enjoyment in doing the train events ever since I first seen it uh, when it was firstly implemented into the game. Um, it's always been a really good event and an easy one. A lot of, a lot of newbies will um, be happy and satisfied in running this event because it, you know what, it really doesn't require a lot of time, energy or effort for you guys to run through and do what you need to do. Ooh, I'll grab all of those, why not? And how am I doing with my clothing? Yeah, barely a dent, which is good. So we'll continue on and hopefully we'll get some pretty decent loot. If I'm lucky, I think I've seen it from time to time. I don't know whether they've changed it because of this update uh, with the wagon, but you might be able to find some horseshoes or a horseshoe. And if I do, I'll be very lucky. And I'll be able to be able to get my last uh, wagon bow. And that's just one missing uh, final piece to the puzzle. And realistically, all that I need, honestly, is going to be um, the wagon axle. And that's the shootout event. That's all that I need from that. I know you can get a horseshoe from the shootout event. Ideally, if I had it either way, I'd like to find it, the horseshoe somewhere in here, potentially, and the wagon axle uh, in the shootout event. That's what I'm, hope I'm hoping for. But again, um, it's all up to the Wasteland Gods up there. Hopefully they're going to be kind to me. If so, then I'm a lucky boy and I'll be a very happy boy for that matter. So we'll see how we go with that. But so far, I'm just uh, taking down all of these fellas here because I really don't want to be interrupted while I'm looting and doing what I want to do in amongst the zone here. And these guys particularly don't really have anything that I really want or I know that I've got an abundance of that I really don't need to worry about. So yeah, for now, these guys are not giving me anything that I want, but let's see what we have in some of these lootable containers. And like I said, if I can find the horseshoe from here, I think I'll be very, very happy. Let's go back up to this way that's where I sort of led in from before and we'll see if there's anything in here hopefully let's see um, okay uh, nothing that I want from here the big chest will be the chest that I'll be really uh, wanting to open up but I just want to get some of these little ones out of the way as well sometimes they do give you some pretty good um, uh, material so it's always a good time you always want to be, well, you always would be inclined to open up every single container. So you, you don't really want to miss any containers. I certainly don't. I certainly try and open up everything or make a point to do so. So I'll grab some of that while I'm here. Grab the little one over here as well. And we've got the main set over there. Uh, so what have we got here? Okay, don't need the copper right now. I'm just hopeful, hopefully. Let's see. Um, okay, nothing there, so we've got three more chests, let's see what we've got, okay, nothing so far, come on, horseshoe, give me that horseshoe, no, okay, that's fine, I'm still getting things that I can take away with me, ideally, I want what I want. And I don't get what I want. So, what do you do? Can't complain. So, we'll just continue on, move on from here. We've done it at the very least, so I'm happy. Hopefully, you guys are too. But let me know in the comments have you guys actually finished your wagon yet? Have you started using it? Um, hopefully, you guys have. Hopefully, you guys have grinded out enough um, for you to get all the necessary uh, material and resources, all the prerequisites of course to um, get that shiny new wagon. But I have been told you can upgrade it as well from what I've seen. So there's a few things that you can utilize off that. So if you keep upgrading it, you can stack more storage, which is awesome. Which I find um, uh, a really good uh, feature to have them implemented into the game. So. Yeah, it's always um, always really good, but again, the expense of oats is going to be the big concerning thing. So, I think for me, I think it's a good time for a lot of people to start um, working out how 
um, to come across oats in the most convenient way. Um, if you guys want to spend up money and buy uh, oats from coins, so if we go into here, you can go into resources, I believe it is, no, uh, should be other, okay. And yeah, for 180 coins, you can get 30 oats ready to go. Um, that's one option there. Or if you want to buy um, the barn full of oats, there's 70 there and you buy it for 350. So when you think about it, realistically, that is a decent deal only because if you double that, you'll have 60 and you're spending 360 coins, which to me is not worth it. You can get the 70 there for 350. Um, even though that it's at the discounted rate, I would just buy it. But again, if you don't have the coins for it, then it's not worth it. Uh, some people I've seen have a, a ridiculous amount of coins, so you might want to spend uh, your money on that, and that'll be the most easiest and convenient way of doing it because you're not lifting a finger, you're not uh, utilizing any resources or anything like that. So uh, I think for me, um, I'd probably go down the way of the Canyon Troll and obtain anywhere between 15 to 20 um, oats, and at least this way I can fire them up in here and get all that happening. So right now I've only got four, not much unfortunately, but it's something and I can still um, be a little bit more mobile and nimble without having to uh, utilize energy all the time or use coins to replenish my energy. So there's ways that you can do it. I believe it's 25 coins and you can recharge your, your energy back to 100%. So you can look at it from that perspective as well and utilize um, coins for energy and you know at least say uh, what are we looking at here if we go back into this here oh, no let's go back into that so if you do so I'm just trying to do math here I mean look mathematically you probably get a lot more mileage out of doing energy and using your horse but when you get the um, uh, when you get the wagon the wagon requires oats for transportation so again there's a balance and it just all comes down to how you guys want to sort of play the game and for me i try to free to play every, any game that i come across and that's how i sort of roll that's just me i do sometimes on occasion throw a couple of bucks here and there for the game just to support the developers but i only do it in a way where i don't think it's going to give me um, an advantage whilst I'm playing the game. So for me, I just do it as a bit of a kickback. It's a nice to have, but I don't use it purely to um, get me ahead of um, the pack, so to speak. So I understand a lot of people will do it for themselves and that's okay. That's, you know, that's understandable how you play the game and how you want to experience the game is entirely up to you guys. I don't think I can quickly do a, a quick fix. I think I have to do it um, individually, which is a pain. And I think if you pay for it or if you pay for the share of VIP experience thing, I think you can do that in all one hit thing for convenience. But again, you're just spending a little bit of time and you're just, you know, um, taking a moment out of your day to fix up your base so it really doesn't take that long if you guys have got the patience of course but honestly I think it would be a great time to go ahead and leave for today as I said I timed this to a T just so I can pump out this one here so I can show you guys um, the event itself and at least this, this way you guys can see the final part of the quest line to get the reins Unfortunately, I have not been able to get a shooter's event for God knows how long. It is really, really annoying, and I would love to show you guys, but unfortunately, no event has popped up for me. And I'm just gonna do it before we go ahead and end the video. If it comes up, I'm gonna retract the, um, the final, um, no, it, it didn't, um, uh, the final part there, but unfortunately, it just, not happening usually you start getting events popping up when you're below 25 energy i believe if i'm not mistaken so anyway but if you ended up enjoying the video please like the video comment down below let me know how you guys are progressing uh, with the new update so far and if you can share the video that'll really help me out and if you guys are new to the channel 
like what you've seen today consider subscribing hitting the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway i'm out of here take it easy and i will always catch you next time